When I first came into the Salesforce ecosystem, I was genuinely shocked. I thought, surely I can click a button and out comes a nice branded document from my data, right? No. Instead, people were exporting to Excel, doing crazy mail merges in, in Word, and it felt like the 1990s. But things have come a long way. In this masterclass, I'm going to show you all the main ways to generate docs inside Salesforce, from the simple and free to the powerful and automated. More importantly, I'm going to help you figure out which one is right for you in your scenario, so you don't have to waste time building something that doesn't scale or is over-engineered for something that actually is quite a simple task. So let's start with the most basic email templates. Now, these are the easiest way to merge data into something that looks like a document. You've got classic templates and you've got the more modern lightning email templates. You can drop merge fields, include related data with enhanced letterheads, or even fire these off using flow or manually. But here's the deal. This is best for communication. You're not building contracts or proposals with this. They're not printed or brand rich and formatting options are limited. So if you're sending updates, alerts or confirmations, then perfect. For everything more than that, then you hit the wall pretty quickly. Next up, we have something native and a bit more interesting, quote PDFs. Now, if you're using the standard quote object in Salesforce, then you can generate a branded PDF right from the quote record. Simple, slick and Salesforce handles the merge. But the problem is it's very limited. You can't deeply customize the layout and the data must live on the quote itself. You can't pull in related objects and the logic is really non-existent. So basic sales quotes that you can export cleanly, brilliant, it does the job. But that's about it. Now, if you're using Salesforce CPQ, this is more powerful. CPQ's quote templates do allow for custom branding, rich layout controls, and even dynamic sections based on quote data. This is ideal for your, if your quotes have different formats, depending on product types, pricing tiers, or approval status. But again, it's CPQ specific. If you're not already using CPQ, it is isn't going to be worth the effort or licensing costs just for document generation. However, with Salesforce moving CPQ into legacy status and no new features being built for it, and new customers kind of redirected to purchase Revenue Cloud in instead, and you're probably just creating technical debt by using CPQ templates anyway, even if you've got it. And also, there are no native quote templates currently in its replacement Revenue Cloud. All right, let's talk about old school dev way. And I'm talking visual force and good old Apex. Now with this, you can generate any kind of PDF you like. Fully custom layouts, branding, logic, conditional formatting, data from multiple objects, pretty much anything. But the cost, it's code and it can be brittle. Changes mean dev time, testing is a pain, Visual Force is essentially a legacy language now as well, but also don't underestimate the cost of support and the time to make changes to it. In my opinion, this is a last resort solution. That said, if you are technical or have developer support and need absolutely pixel perfect full control over the layout, this may be a good option for you, especially for legal docs or really complex formal invoices or regulated output. But also AI can help you generate the Visual Force code and Apex code, which can make it less scary, still not for the faint of heart. ChatGPT, for example, can generate the Apex and Visual Force code to create that quote PDF from my opportunity an object, for example, based on the attached Word document that I have given it with 
various levels of success. And now for one of my favorite ways, using an app exchange app. And my go-to app for generating documents and has been for many years, Nintex DocGen. Now, this is where document generation gets really powerful and fun. Uh, with Nintex, you can generate not just PDFs, but Word, PowerPoint, PowerPoint, and even Excel, all directly from inside Salesforce. You can define your templates using merge tags, firing off with a button in Salesforce, or automate flow and many other ways. I've even automatically printed my documents off onto a printer in the office, which was super fun as well. So it supports pulling data from related records, including dynamic tables, and you can basically pull data from anywhere you like in Salesforce as well. So for example, pulling product information into an opportunity pricing table and sending that document off. It can include Word, Excel, PowerPoint or PDF documents from anywhere else in Salesforce and combine that with your template, keeping everything secure in your single source of truth is Salesforce. It's fast, admin friendly, and can stick scale beautifully. Whether you're sending one doc or a thousand in batch, it really does handle it well. But the only downside, it's a paid app. But for document generation, where it's a core part of your process, quotes, quant contracts or proposals, it's well worth it. And for me, it got me out of a lot of holes over the years. So which one would you use? Now, here's my quick cheat sheet. For something that's fast and free, start with email templates. Want a basic quote PDF? Then quote PDFs might do. If you have CPQ, then leverage the CPQ quote templates for that branded output. Although remember, if you end up migrating to Revenue Cloud, then you may have to completely rebuild these templates. If you've got dev support and need that full control over that template, then go with Visual Force and Apex. But if you want power, automation, flexibility, and value, then invest in Nintex DocGen or another document generation app. It's not about picking the best, it's about picking the right fit for your data, process, and team. We've come a long way from exporting Excel spreadsheets and fumbling with mail merges. Today, Salesforce gives you a toolkit, native and third party, to generate exactly the documents you need. The key is to understanding the pros and cons and choosing intentionally, and so that your solution that you pick will grow with your Salesforce organization. So I'll leave you with some links in and resources and trials in the description below. Please check them out. And if you found this useful, then please drop a like or subscribe or even share this with a fellow Salesforce nerd as it really helps the video algorithms promote my videos. So happy document building and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta!